Right, boys and girls, welcome to today's lesson. We're going to just show you a number of interesting things in Purple Mash. So I need you all to pay very good attention. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes, but some of the things you're going to learn will help you hugely in your preparations for the exam. I'm going to show you on the board. You're going to just need to observe, apply it at home because, all right, so when you go into, go into Mash, I'll purple mash you're going to find that we've got all different tools that one can use and I'm going to be concentrating on one of the English tools now when I use this example it doesn't necessarily apply to English it's applying to any any subject that uses English so watch if I go to AB to English over here I'm going to use text toolkit and you can see it's and we're going to use word spot now, when you click on WordSpot, we launch the app and we want to make a learning activity to help us study better. Very often when we study, it, became, it can be quite boring. Some of our content is not always the most interesting thing and you'd like to use Purple Mash to help. I'm going to go to Word Types and I'm going to take away nouns, verbs and adjectives. So look over there, there's none of them. We want to categorize animals. So I might say... Add in here, I'll go start off with reptiles. Reptiles. Okay. I don't really like that color, but I'll just leave it like that. Add, and we'll go mammals. And I'm only going to put in two for the moment because I just wanted you guys to understand how this can be used in all subjects. Okay, so we've got mammals and reptiles. Now I might have the dog was swimming around the shoal of tuna the tortoise and i'm just typing nonsense was sitting on the rock with the badger so when you want to make an activity you know that reptiles would be the tortoise so I click on it and it says tortoise I click on the plus button and it's there if I click on badger we know it's a mammal it's there dog is also a mammal there and I didn't put in fish so fish would not necessarily apply here but when you save this by going there save and exit you can paste this game up for your friends to study so you're using it to study biology for instance mammals reptiles and all the other animal types so so you find you'd use this boys and girls to show the different animal types so what i've done is basically typed in the words and i clicked on word types and then i clicked add and i added reptiles if i wanted to bring in fish i'd go add and then I change the color to have a distinct color that they all got different colors. I'd go OK and we could type in fish and OK. So now you see the fish category falls in there. So if I go tuna, it would apply to fish. And then I could save, save and exit. And then this could be then posted on my website. I might just send it to a friend. I could even... There's lots of different ways. When you also do this, give yourself a certain amount of time. Like over here, I got 20 seconds is by default. I could make it 45 seconds you got to do this level. I could go to the next level and add another level. So you can actually make learning tools that help you to learn. So let's show you how to quickly in a few seconds make a website. that you guys can build a website and you can have your Purple Mash games in your website. Let me show you how that's done. How cool is that? Not many schools have this ability. Now, I've made a game called Machine Learning, which is one of the activities you guys are doing today. So watch carefully how I make it. In at least than two minutes, I'm going to make it a website. I'm going to go open and just show you the game first. And then you can see, look, it says play. And it's got these words need to be placed in the right to see where they fit in. It's called a closed procedure. I got naught. That's terrible. I should have got at least one right. But I didn't read it. And that tells you that I wouldn't get a very good accuracy mark. 
But I just want to demonstrate that's how you find your answers. So I could change them around like AI is a branch, a computer branch. I'm trying to think what I gave for this was is it computer branch and go there. Still wrong. And I could fiddle around till I get it right. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that. So that's how you play the game. Now let's show you how it goes on a website. What you do is you open your game that you made. You open it like this, any game in Purple Mesh. I'm just going to close this. And you'll see there, share file. That says share file. So what you do is you click on it. And over here it says you can get a QR code. That's one of these over here where someone with a QR reader could just photograph it. And when they take a scan of it, QR reader, they could go straight to your website where they play your game. Very, very wonderful. Is How wonderful is that? And then you could go to embed and look at this is called an iframe. Now, most HTML bits of code have iframe and Google, we know, provides iframe as well. So I'm going to make quickly a website and watch. I'll go new. This is my Google Drive. All of you should possibly have Google Drive. Speak to mom and dad. Maybe they could help you to. You go website. And look, I'm going to my sites, Google sites. And this is a very simple way of making websites, Google sites. And I'll call it my English game. And you can post it up for all your friends who's going to be learning with you. Your study group. My English game. You could do it. If biology or whatever you're doing like I did the mammal example and I go embed look over here it says embed now you take your embed code and you put it on this that's your URL to go to the but I'm going to go embed and I'm going to paste as plain text and there it is now I know that my game was a bit small when I played it with the other class so I'm going to make it about 600 by 1500 and I'm going to insert it, and you'll see it's loading. Look over here, it's loading. Now, you can see it's a bit small, so I'm just going to drag it like that. And this is pretty easy. And I'm going to drag it down like that. A little bit more. Just try and get it so it's smart. It probably is going to look a little bit big because if you look at it, you can see it's look. There's a little part of it's not showing there. So I'm just going to go on this edit button and I'm going to make the width a little bit smaller. 1100 should do. And next, let's see if that's better. Save it. It's loading again. It'll fit. Look there and there. And now what you do is you go publish and your website would be published now let's look at the website you go like that let's see the website my english game and your mom's going on the website and there she sees something there's a aha my son has put a little game here play and look over there anyone in the world can play your purple mash game let's see if i can get this one right i'm not reading it again i'm just guessing and all wrong got one one right uh, improvement on the other one but how good is that that you can put you you can actually publish your purple mash games on a website for your mom dad your all your friends to to do that's what you can do that is so wonderful i'd like to see some of you showing me your ability to do this it's as easy as pie there's nothing to it all you have to do is have a google account if you do have a Google account, you straight away can go into Google Sites and within two minutes make a website and put any of your Purple Mash games, even the 3D games, up for other people to play. All they need to do, if I want to share it with you guys, I'd go here. So when you go to your back to your website, you go over here, share with others, and I could share it with my wife. So if I go, Akida is her name, A K. Akita Bradley and I could then send and she would get a hyperlink that goes straight to the website and she could play my game. People will think you're a computer scientist when you show that you're publishing games and you're only in primary school. And I think I'd be very proud because knowing that I'm your computer teacher, 
it would make me realize I've taught you something of value and you guys probably would be quite proud of yourselves as well. I hope you've appreciated that. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is when you do these activities. So if you go to your to-dos and you open them up, you'll see if I, you guess the answers like this. If I just guess the answers, like guessing, I'm not really thinking, I'm just putting them anywhere, then you lose marks on accuracy. There I got naught. So you've got to make sure that if you even if you move them around like this and guess them like that, you're gonna find I'm losing marks because I'm not reading, I'm just guessing where they would fit. So that one would be right, and I go there, and I'm moving them around just randomly, that's losing me points. You can do it like this, but remember that at the end of the process when you know all the correct answers, then play the game again and read and get the answers in the right place because you want to get a high accuracy score. And that's the important thing, a high accuracy score. So when you go to your to-dos, you're going to go to your to-dos and you're going to open them. Don't worry if you get a low score in your accuracy. You just play it again. The second time you definitely should improve and the third time you'll get better until you get a high score. So just play it over and over until you're satisfied that the score meets your expectations. If you see a low score coming your way, please don't think, oh no, no, I'm not passing because you just play it again and with a higher score, your score reads into Purple Mash as something more suitable. All right, start with this one, machine learning. Machine learning is training computers to learn. Computer scientists are training computers to be able to learn. They train them how to pick up patterns and recognize different things. And that's called machine learning. It's become a big thing in computer science. Some of you who are going to learn about artificial intelligence are going to do machine learning. And it's going to really be part of the future of computers. So I'd like to see you guys taking a strong interest in machine learning and the writing that you're going to be reading in this activity. I wrote it. So please excuse me if there's one or two errors. There might be a, an odd error. It's a, the, I quickly rushed writing it to make it interesting for you guys. Thanks guys. I think that's about covered everything I'd like to cover. Do watch the YouTube video which will show all of this and you can even go over the way of making a website and also go through all of what I've explained here.